and today we'll be going over the parts of the atom. Standard 3A tells us that the atom is composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So, all things are made out of atoms. And atoms are so small that if you look here in this little grain of salt, this salt grain contains about 10 million billion atoms. Now, if you look behind me here, this is an example of all the different kinds of atoms there are. Each one of them is called an element. So here, we're actually using a modified Bohr model of an atom. And in the center here, we have the nucleus. The nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. Now, if you look here, you'll see that there's actually one, two, three protons. And this represents the element lithium. Lithium has the three protons with the capital L, little i, as its symbol. Okay, we're back with the atom here, and look at the protons once again. And all protons come with a positive charge. Now, this does present somewhat of a problem. You see, light charges, in other words, the same charges, repel one another. Okay, this brings us now back to the nucleus. And you look here, we have the neutrons. And the neutrons are about the same mass as the protons. But they have no charge, which basically makes them neutral. But neutrons do have an important role. They keep the protons together in the nucleus. They're essentially the glue. The more protons are in the atom, the more glue, in other words, the more neutrons are needed to keep the nucleus together. And the protons and neutrons pretty much make up the mass of the entire atom. Okay, now we look at outside the nucleus. Here we have the electrons. The electrons have a negative charge. And normally you have the exact same number of electrons as you do the protons, giving the entire atom a neutral charge. The electrons orbit around the nucleus. These orbits are also known as energy levels. Here we can see energy levels 1 and 2. The outermost electrons are called the valence electrons. They have most of the energy and determine how the atom will bond with other atoms to form compounds. This is a science prediction.